can't see your sign anymore now. I'm sorry. I just noticed that. There's only so many things I can do. What? Now we're live! All right. There we go. Pause that so we don't have to see that. Oh, thank yeah, goodness. I know. I can't get this in the right place, it feels like. Mm. No, so I don't know. So we're too short. That's the thing. Since you're down, everything has to be down. And then that's too Is tall. that what it is? I saw I assume. Actually, I think this might be taller than my chair over there. I don't know, man. I don't know. I tried getting a smaller chair so we could, like, get us in the frame better. Yeah, his chair is really... I don't know if it worked or not. Mm. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Friday, 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 Friday Chat Filming for a live YouTube audience. That is actually true. It is. Yeah. No, that's, that's accurate. Well Just done. Just our animals and online and, people. And these folks. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, welcome. It's Friday. Uh, I'm glad oh. it's Friday because that means pizza. What? Uh, uh, Buffering. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be okay. Our internet has been like weird a couple last few oh. days. I don't know. On, I haven't on, noticed that. On Twitch the other day, it was fine. It was fine mm -hmm. after a while, but at the beginning, it was a little bit strange. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I hope it's not terrible. If it is, sorry. There's literally nothing I can do about that. But what are you gonna do? Hi, Beth. And <sighs> yeah, let's start at the Becky, top. We start with Zonda. Becky was president and accounted for a good hour ago. Oh wow, geez. Maybe more. Greg Martin, Greg, a different Greg. More different Greg. <laughs> Leon, Ben. Hopefully you're feeling better, Ben, or things are going all right now. Paul, Jeannie, forty-eight, <laughs> Eric, an ink guy. I, that's just... Laura's here. Can, you, you continue. Plains Crafter, Unwan, Christine, Clifford, Dapper, SC, Go2, True Character. Carol. Paul. Lisa. That's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're <laughs> caught up now. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good high five. Yeah, you hurt yourself giving me a high five earlier. I did. I'm okay now, though. Good. Yeah, I gave Audrey a really good high five earlier, mm -hmm. and I had to, like, stretch for it. And uh, buffering, huh? Well, hopefully that clears up soon. I don't know what the deal is, but we'll see how it goes. Um, an hour ago, yeah. So uh, I put the I put the the stream up a while ago. Like I usually put it up. I don't know when I think about it in the middle of the day, mm -hmm. uh, so people can find it and that sort of thing. So yeah, some people show up real, uh, real uh, early. That's the word. Yeah, mm -hmm. early. Uh, I did get my ears lowered. Audrey lowered my ears. I did. Last yeah. last night. It's actually I'm so much I'm so much less scruffy. Yep. I filmed this That'll be twenty five dollars, please. Aw. <laughs> That's less than twenty five dollars. Tell you what, I'll buy a pizza. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what kind right. of pizza are we getting? Uh, probably, I have not asked. Probably so. that Domino's. Oh, yeah, tonight? We got free ones. I mean, no. I'm going to pay full price. Oh, yeah. Because only the best for my family. No no coops? You're going to yes. pay full price. That's huh? right. That's right. Does it mean you're behind? No, no, no. You're not behind. This doesn't go live until 5-ish. No. A little late today because I was trying to get things set up. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. It worked out. This is uh, this is my snuggly cat. We have decided that her name is actually maybe Emily. Her name might be Emily. Because we said the name Emily, and she was sitting next to Audrey, and she like woke oh, up, and she's and like, like looked over, and she was like very psyched about this. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we think her name might be Emily and not Katie. So it's Emily Purry, right there. Emily, I mean, Emily the Destroyer. She looks just like an Emily too, you know. Yeah. Looking dapper? Why, thank you, Will. This is one of your Anderson Penn shirts. This is the original is Anderson it the original Penn's. Pen? Yeah. So uh, for those of you who don't know, at um, Oof. You just fell. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, are you going to charge? Yeah, Audrey under charges. Well, I don't know. Twenty five bucks is about what I pay. Uh, I paid my hair cutterist, I think. I think Plus my tip, hair but... cutting price is down because they don't do any extra stuff. So oh, my really? cutting's been cheap. Has Again, it? I've oh. only been to her during the pandemic. Right. So who knows what she usually charges? I don't or know. If there's a difference. If, yeah, but she yeah. doesn't do any of the extra stuff because it's and it's really fast. But it also seems fairly cheap based on how much I think at this place should be. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I expect a woman's cut to be like fifty or sixty bucks at least. Oh, she's charging me like twenty five dollars. Right Holy now. smokes! Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I tip whoop. like well too because well, I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you have to. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ben sure. has his first surgery booked for Wednesday. Apart from that, he's doing okay. I of mean, of course, I'm gonna remember. It's good to have uh, things to remember. Yeah, she's mine like a steel trap. This one. 
Generally, it, it's not a great thing. Uh, it's good for other people, but it's terrible for my mental health <laughs> for never forgetting things that... Yeah. 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 Mm. Just keep remembering that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I, uh, I, I have one of those... Anderson, finish that thought before we get off of it. Yeah. Uh, so I, uh, I started working with Anderson Pins at the DC Pin Show, I don't know how long ago, several years ago. Um, I usually work with them on like Saturdays at the DC Pen Show because Saturday is a crazy day. Yeah. And uh, this actually does some good for all of us. Like, I really like hanging out with the Andersons and like we work I'm trying well to together. figure out years. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm quiet and yeah, not yeah. looking. Uh-huh. Uh, US $4? Yeah, you can't get a haircut for $4 in the US, that's for sure. I got my uh, haircut for a dollar in Cambodia, right? It might have been two. I gave her five and she's like, what are you doing? There was no. Ink- this is all just through like hand gestures and looks, of course. Yeah. And I was, I said, keep the five, and she's like, no, yeah. one. I'm like, no, five. Keep it. You take it. And so, yeah, she finally took it. I remember your hair but looked perfectly. Good I when went you got to back. get my hair done like a couple months later at my usual person, and I told her, I was like, by the way, I went to Cambodia, I got my hair cut for a dollar, but I paid her five. And she's like, she like did the whole thing of looking through my hair, and she's like. There's no problems here. You, they did a good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I uh, Texas third world laggy. Yeah, I don't know why that would mm. be. I don't. Uh, uh, let's see where my stream settings. Yeah, ultra low latency. It says. Mm. But yeah, no, our uh, our speed is like half what it usually is. So mm. I don't know why. I hope it's kind of okay. Uh, any case, a frozen stream. Oh, well, it's back up to. Whoa, it actually popped up to where it's supposed to be now. Hopefully, it'll catch up. Hopefully, we'll get caught up. Hit refresh to get it back. It seems like it's okay now. It has decided that it's 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 stable. And it's going to do the thing it's supposed to do, which is good. Stream is fine for Claire. Excellent. As a mod, that's fine. important. Okay. I yeah. give you the good internets because you're a mod. That's why you got that blue name. It means you get good internets. Yeah, tipping culture is not a thing in Cambodia. Really? I mean, you can do a little bit, yeah. but again, it's going to be really low compared yeah. to what we do here. She's just wallaxing. Yeah, she starts scratching that chair. Well, I'm going to, I'll her, tell her what's up. Give her the I'm old back of the hand. I'm going to tell you what's up. Yeah. So, yeah, you can just a little bit, just like in other countries that yeah. you generally don't. But if you give, like, a little bit, you're not going to offend them. Mm-hmm. So, maybe it's because I was too kind that I was being, it was on the verge of offensive, but I tried to make sure just being, like, I was happy with this and I don't, you know. Yeah. It was worth it. Yeah, so people are saying that Missy Anderson story. Yeah, we actually you got side we because Audrey started talking about haircuts in Cambodia. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess it's now it's back to terrible. Four hundred thirty-five k. That's I pay for so much more than that. I don't know what's going on with the with the transmission speed. I, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Um, in any case, so the rest of that story goes thusly. Uh, it oh, keeps me yeah. off the floor on Saturday, which I like because Saturday is a madhouse and I don't want to be in that crowd. It's mm-hmm. not fun. Uh, and second, it uh, like gives people like if they only can come on Saturday and want to come say hi to me, they can find me at a table. Yeah. And also the Andersons it. like, you yeah. know, enjoy the the customer the service experience, experience of, oh, of yeah. Mike uh, behind the table. So. Uh, so yeah, this, they started, there was like this joke that I always wear plaids and Brian Anderson always wears like the most... Uh, like just a, one solid color. He blue. Doesn't... Usually they have a blue thing, but yeah. it's always just one color. And if he has <laughs> any sort of plaid or yeah. lined, or it's the most subtle you could possibly get without yeah. it being just a solid color. Yeah. So the joke is that I always do uh, plaids, mm-hmm. and so they said, you know what, we're just Control gonna get. V. Yeah. And so they said, you know, we're gonna get. Uh, I'm just. We're just gonna stop and get some shirts. We're gonna have a, just like a plaid day on Saturday or whatever. Yeah. And so they started doing that ages ago because yeah. there's a like a, they call it like a discount mall or whatever. Yeah, there's an outlet shop yeah. on their way down. On their way down to the DC show, and so they um, Texas Energy folks are managing my internet. Oh Oof. no. Ugh. Yeah, it's back in um, bed. It's yeah, it's terrible. Sorry. Um, and so they just started like buying shirts. And so uh, at least three of us and sometimes four, if Steph is there, yeah. we'll all be wearing the same shirt. And so this is the original yep. uh, DC Pin Show Anderson plaid shirt. Yep. I've got, I don't know, four or five of them at least at this point. Yeah. But um, anyway. So uh, yeah, the story of the shirt. Dapper because I put on something with buttons. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> What's going on down down below though? Joggers. Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not changing. No, no, definitely not. I, uh, I wore pants on Monday because I had to go to the dentist. And I decided I didn't really want to wear joggers to the dentist. I don't know why. 
but uh, I think so. <laughs> Uh, so they can't like see me like clinching up my legs because I'm like a nervous dentist patient. Mm. And so like I wear boots and jeans, so they can't like see me like curling my toes in anticipation and like clinching up my legs. And I have a question for you. Yeah. Since you finished the story, right? I did. Anderson's okay. story is done. It's wine o'clock. So when you're in the dentist chair and oh. they're in your mouth doing stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do you look? Like I close what? my eyes. I don't look anywhere. What? Are yeah. you serious? Absolutely. Do, do you? You look at their face? I don't look at their face. I just like <laughs> look at stuff. I'm like, okay, so what's over here? I don't turn my head. I just move my eyes and I look up and around at the light and like not into the light, but around the light and I'll see like a little sink over there and I look at what's going there and I look on the little tray to see what kind of scraper things are using and... No, I don't look at anything. I close oh. my eyes until it's over. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, got ejected. Oh, weird. I don't yeah. know, man. Uh, something weird is going on. Do you want to stop on. and restart it? I don't think it... Gonna I think anything. it might not be our internet. Yeah, it could be just... It could just be a YouTube thing. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes YouTube is just very, very slow. Mm -hmm. I've had times where I'm trying to upload, like, for instance, that... Um, that Franklin Christoph uh, bag that I just put up yesterday. Which, thank you, Carol. Said yeah. she loved the review. Appreciate that. Um, actually, Scott liked it so much he put it on the Franklin Christoph page yeah. for that item. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know why it's. Do you want to go to Twitch? That's, I don't know. I don't know if, it, if people won't follow. Sure to they Twitch. Would anyone um, follow to Twitch? Because the, generally, they don't have problems like this. I had a little bit of a problem with them on Thursday. It straightened out pretty quick. But is it the but... game part? Because that could No, be... it's not me. Okay. No, no, no. Um, so, uh, another boonies get you to come back and increase the watch numbers. Yeah, that's totally what I'm doing. Yeah. 28 people. That's rough. Yeah. Um, usually I have you know, four times that. But uh, you would follow Twitch. Yeah. Then just has television on the ceiling. That's so fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. People will follow on Twitch. I mean, a couple people will, but... Um, you don't wear socks unless necessary. Uh, yeah, I wear socks most of the time. Unless I'm yeah. wearing, well, wear actually, not most socks. of the time. If I'm wearing shoes, I'm wearing socks usually. If I'm wearing, it's, if it's early or late fall, winter, or early spring, I'm wearing fuzzy socks and slippers both. Woof. I would sweat crazily. Yeah. Do you have to have an account to be on Twitch just to view uh, it? No, I don't think so. But I mean, it's a whole thing. People would have to like find it. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to switch in the middle. Although it's back down to being. Yeah, it's. Well, now it was amazing. Like it's vacillating between like eighteen thousand yeah. and four hundred. I don't know. You better get down. So, uh, stream is fine there. Yeah. See, weird. I, I think it must be a maybe it's a YouTubey sort of thing. Yeah. I don't know, but it took me like. An hour and a half? It must have been longer than that because I started uploading it like a half hour before I took Scraggles for a walk. I took her for like a 45 mm -hmm. minute walk. You did. And it was still going when I came back. And that was a 10 minute video ish, so I don't know. Are my dress joggers? These actually are kind of dress joggers. These are fancy. Oh, Adidas they're the name ones. brand and not um, Amazon ones. Yeah, these aren't, like, <laughs> these aren't the random Amazon ones that are so comfortable. Oh, these are very comfortable. Yeah. You can watch live streams on Twitch without an account just uh, just to watch past streams. You have to be a member. Oh, interesting. Oh, there you go. VODs, they call them. Yep. Uh, don't wear shoes in the house. Uh, yeah, I don't wear shoes in the house. But you have like either. house slippers, though, right? Yeah, I have like, some house slippers. Well, I'm talking to Jeannie. Like, Culturally, I think they just have their their ones that you only wear in the house. No, yeah, maybe so. It's just that specific uh, kind. Flores is like eighty, no real shoes, no socks. No, well, yeah, well, that's fair. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, I mean, I grew up in Texas, so like, I grew up not wearing. Shush. Shush. Hey, I can't reach. You gotta stop it. You only do this when we're on live streaming. That's not true. It is. But or when you call me, or when we're on live streaming. If she, I'm talking and not to her, she she's like, I gotta... She likes the attention. She she's like, you're not paying she attention to me. I'm, you don't recognize I'm here. She doesn't do this for Twitch either. Well, it's just that's the... Weird. I think maybe it's because you're oh. here. Now hmm. she's fighting with my hand. We do have house slippers. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. All I my K-dramas I watch have them, so that's how I know. Oh, uh, look at you. Yeah. Audrey's into K-dramas and C-dramas. C-dramas, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I assumed that they would be called C dramas. They, I didn't even well, know. I, I, yes, didn't I think even so. know. Maybe yep. that's not a thing. Good, good job. You need to talk to, you need to talk to uh, Diane Nib section Diane. She is her Twitter is like mostly Diane, really mostly uh, C drama stuff. Really, I have no idea what she's ever talking about on there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Well, I'm gonna have to look now. Every once in a while, she pops up on okay. here. So, 
Um, so I do have something since... Oh, no, look at this. It's terrible. Mm. We'll see if this will work. I knew I had something cool I wanted to show y'all. And BTS. Oh, yeah, oh of absolutely. course. Um, yes. But uh, I got this package right here, which I haven't actually done an unboxing or anything for. And I'm blocking all of Audrey. Okay. Mm. Um, this is from Matthew Martin. He has a bunch of new pen models. And so he said, hey, you want to check these out and show... Uh, I haven't seen them. What is it? Oh, K-drama uh, K is Korean dramas, and C-dramas are Chinese dramas. So Just shows? Yeah. Yeah, it just shows, but they're in Chinese. And they're slower, and so you can pick up, you know, words and things faster. And it's Really? Not... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't speak as quickly, so yeah. it's it's better for picking things up. So he sent a whole bunch of these little Yeah, these little I know cards. who Rain is. Heck, yeah. What? I was talking to... I don't I'm even see up... that on the screen. Oh, it came up over there oh. first. Yep. Like <laughs> so, rain. Uh, there are a whole bunch of these little cards that correspond to the to the uh, the pens. Mm -hmm. So, like, he has when they were made. So, like, Q1 of 21, copper body, titanium accents, uh, OG thick. And then it's got, like, actually, let's see where this goes. I don't even know where this QR oh, card website. goes. With maybe specs or something? I don't know, maybe. You wanna? There it goes. Let's see. Matthew Martin makes cool pens. Yeah, it just goes. To, it goes to his yep. website. I think that's just on all the cards. It's not for each particular one. Yep. That would be too much. Tina's trying to choose an ink for her Kaweco Golden or Golden Espresso Aluminum Sport. Help. Uh, Golden Espresso AL Sport. That's a nice brown. I mean, if it's me and I wanted to match i don't really like to match things you don't i don't know do you want to match things or not tina we're going to vegas with a friend because his wife wanted to see rain oh really <laughs> i don't know if that is still is that a person is it a band it's is a, it a it's i think it's just a guy just, just, one. just one guy yeah. yeah fair enough did you hear that g dragon is dating jenny from blackpink that is straight is it... up scandal I they've been dating for a year I sorry <laughs> i do know what blackpink is I know yes what that is. there you go yeah uh, so he sent them in these tubes. It's a series of tubes. Those are fun tubes. That's, they're like the tubes that we used to use for nib tubes back at Frank and Kristoff before I worked there. And then I was like, this oh, takes true. too long, so we have to like, cut them, and it's a whole thing. Yeah, I've actually got some. Yeah, here we go. Like this. Yeah, those, yeah. It's so now we use the five mil. This is tubes. the uh, Sig Flex. Oh, the ever yes, thank you, Mike, for showing that. <laughs> uh, don't bother FC about Sig Flexes; they don't make those anymore. Yes, there are Spanish drama. Telmundo has you know lots of them. What I suggest wow. doing is watching them online and then slowing the speed down. Oh. I don't have to do that with the K dramas, but I in Spanish ones, yeah, I. Especially if I'm really act if I know some of it and I want to not look at subtitles, definitely slowing it down is the way I go. Hmm. Or if there's lots of people talking at once, it's hard to read it. So yeah. <laughs> hey Julie, what's up? Uh, yeah, we can show that. That's not... Somebody's hungry back here. She's licking an empty bowl. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. 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 Uh, so then he sent uh, Matthew Martin did these whole like spec sheets for each pen. And it's about, like, you know, green capped tubes. So let's just go through them in order. Sure. How about that? Seems like our internets have stabled out, so that's kind of nice. Do you want me to open and or you read? or you Yeah, maybe? sure. Go for it. That's satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> and they come in this little... Little sock. Little sock. All right, yeah. so... Oh, I won't. I won't open it. I almost opened it before <laughs> we, you told us what it is. I uh, didn't realize. Yeah. So the Flex Sigs. I. Uh, yeah, they haven't been really done since Jim died, because um, those definitely not. Yeah. Like Jim would destroy those constantly. They're yeah, a huge. There were about to grind. so. I heard so many expletives <laughs> when he was grinding those. Did you so. learn some new ones? No, I knew <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Just strings, but perhaps, strings that longer of them, than a lot would, more yeah. than usual. Yeah. Uh, so this one is the OG Slim. In zirconium and titanium with a satin finish. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Also, hey Julie, what's up? Uh, yeah, look at that zirconium. Mm. And the end. Hopefully, you can see like the ends have the the other color on. Yeah, them. that's the titanium. So the zirconium is the dark metal. Then it has a titanium section. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can if you hold it still. 
maybe. It caught it for a sec. Yeah. So the story behind uh, our camera resolution still being crap, even though I thought I found a way to do it, you might just go down. That's kind of why I... So this well, is in focus, so put it about the same level as that. <laughs> that no. doesn't show what I'm trying to show you. <laughs> I don't know. It's got some nice grooves. Um, yeah. So I, I, it has grooves. I keep trying to take these cameras apart because there's a fix to this problem. But on each of these cameras, there is one screw that I cannot remove. And these teeny tiny little screws, and they just will not come out. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it. But let's get one of those screw destroyers. Um, so this is the zirconium. Zirconium is a really cool metal to make pens out of, or at least it looks cool when the pen's done. But it's... They're expensive. Yeah, zirconium is an expensive metal, and it's also a big pain to machine because when mm -hmm. you have filings of it, it likes to uh, burst into flames real hard. Mm. Uh, our friend Will Hodges at uh, Tactile Turn mm -hmm. had a big fire in his mill one time, which I'm sure was extremely exciting. Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> sure it was. Zirconium's not as bad as like magnesium, but it's real, it's real gnarly. So yeah. uh, zirconium is pretty cool. Uh, WD-40 if it won't remove duct tape is not supposed to move. So the problem is I don't want to put chemicals on it because it's got a plastic housing and it's a camera. And so I don't really want to hmm. put things in it. Uh, but yeah, zirk pens are super pretty. So this has like a nice groove in the section. Let's see if we can have it look better up here. Straight up influencer hands. Really? I think the shininess doesn't help. Yeah, it might not. This one actually has a flex nib on it, too. You can see there. Uh, I asked him who did the flex nibs, and he said it was Kirk Spear of Pin, Pin Realm does the flex nibs. There aren't any other grinds or anything like that, but he does the flex. And I haven't used this yet, but I've heard Kirk is pretty good at flex. That's the thing he is kind of known for. So, doesn't smell like anything. Okay. I, always, I usually I smell... am the one who does that. So. I do that, too. Yeah. So yeah, there's the there's that one. So this is the OG Slim, uh, which is uh, writing weight is thirty two point nine grams, which is still which is a little bit on the heavy side, but it's, not not bad. No, and so that's the thing I worry about any metal pens, especially some of these get thick. Some get thick, yeah. and the balance is nice. It is a little heavier than I usually would go for, but it's not too much. It's, yeah, it's writable. I think. Yeah. We'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna ink them up, obviously. Well, yeah, yeah. You no, you're just gonna look at them. Right influence your hands and it did focus it focused kind of it didn't focus super well yeah so yeah that's the zirconium and titanium uh actually let's kind of keep them out um if you put them on the oh wait we got pen rests we do that one's not one we made that was nope. uh sent to us by a viewer i think you like orange Nope. <laughs> oh, you want some more orange? Nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so that's the green one. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what's next? Right next is red. Whoosh. Does it post? They do not post. Not post. Um, so the, one of the things he did with this OG line uh, is that the OG one, there's a nose in the background. Um, there is a nosy. Are very light. Some of those I think got down to like 16 grams or something, mm -hmm. even though they're full metal. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of customization and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff available. These uh, bigger ones are to address a different problem, which is that some people just wanted like a less expensive pen. Uh, so this zirconium and titanium was only three fifty. Yeah, I say only, I, I, well, I but mean, it's it, also zirconium. So yeah. um, there's that. Yeah. Um, but uh, some of the rest, I'm like this one is uh, two ninety five, mm -hmm. which is not bad for like machined metal pens like this. Um, but also, people wanted bigger ones. I wanted a bigger one, too. Mm -hmm. Big monkey hands. Uh, I've got big old mitts, too. I think this will be... I don't know. I haven't used it yet. I'll let you know, of course, in the review. I think it's usable. I mean, it comes past the web in my hand. It feels like it's going to be okay. Well, to get it to the paper, it might be a little bit on the short side. So, Mike we'll see. holds his, the nib or the pen high up on sections. No, I don't. I think so. Well, I did there yeah, because I had to there. get it. I had to get yeah. it to the paper. Yeah, I don't know. If you have big hands, this might not be the one for you. Uh, I'm gonna say it probably won't be. But we'll see how it is once I start writing with it. If you have medium, small to medium, it's fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're on the red tube now. All right, this is the OG thick. It looks thick. exciting. I can see a little bit through it. Is it? Yeah. What do you think it's made of? It looks coppery. Smell it. Is it copper? Smell it. <laughs> 
I smell a sock. It smells you smell like a cotton. sock? Yeah. <laughs> That's I can't funny. smell anything. Uh, your hands are gigantic. I don't post in a Kaya. That's sacrament. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. So this is the OG Thick in copper and titanium. I was correct. Extra medium. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's got a little bit of patina on there. It's nice. It's looking good. I think that's pretty cool. Mike has very acidic hands. I haven't touched it yet. It's not even me. Oh. I think, just, I, I well, think it that must have be. been him. Yeah. And then, yep, section is titanium. This is a, a, a quite a lot thicker, I think, than the other. Yeah, it also has the grooves here that you cannot see, unfortunately. Yeah, this is yeah. so. This is a lot heavier. Uh, this one is uh, 60 grams, so it's twice as heavy. Yeah. Yeah, copper is roll heavy. Yeah. Zirconium's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Copper is. What are you looking at? Oh, up there. Yeah. Uh, it seems like it might have just been a blip. Tony says um, extra medium. Yeah. So uh, somebody said they have very medium hands. I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sister sends you baby book. When you were two, they were adult medium. <laughs> wow. That is pretty big. Hey, that is pretty big. Uh, what's this posting all speak of? Look, some people post, others don't. Some people think it's sacrilege. It to depends ever post on the pen. pen. Yeah, yeah for, for me. me, it just depends on the pen. And how long I'm using it. or whatever. So, yeah. set and finish, rounded finials, spiral section. They all have a spiral section. Oh, okay, check. there you go. Yeah. Triple lead cap threads. So, it doesn't take very much to unscrew one of these. Mm -mm. They unscrew and the, the cap screws on pretty quickly. Three-ish. Ish. Two-ish, maybe something like that. Yep. Um, but, yeah, so writing weights. And he has writing and capped weights, which are nice. Because yeah, the cap is... weighs uh, 24 grams. Yeah. It's a heavy cap. Copper is, has natural microban indeed. <laughs> it's true. It totally does. Uh, yeah. So uh, these all use Jovo number six uh, nibs, Schmidt K5 converters, uh, all the regular sizes of Jovo plus some flex nibs available. Right, so that's the second How one. How much is this one? Oh, that one is uh, 295 You can see a little bit of the patina in there. Yeah, a little bit. Little dark yeah. areas. Pin Boutique has a few of the Mont Blanc whiskey and cigar smell inks in stock. Oh, interesting. Oh. How expensive are they? They're not cheap. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it goes for fancy metal mm -hmm. pens. Mm -hmm. uh, and then these yeah. go up from that. So this is the yeah. least expensive. Yeah. And I don't know exactly why. It might just be because of the the copper and titanium? I don't it, really know. It's probably a combo of, yeah, what it's made out of, how much it, you need of that material in mm. time that specific pen mm -hmm. takes if it maybe has it's more. maybe it takes less time because it's closer to the width of the rod stock that's or that's possible because it mm, needs maybe. less, less machine work. yes work less work on the yeah, machine because be. you know if you take into consideration it's wearing down part of something that he has to replace for yeah, yeah. the metal parts so that's it's probably true. stuff like that i mean that's yeah. what we do at fc so i'm sure he does that as well you're all seeing a very low res video or you need to start drinking uh you can start mm -hmm. drinking i guess it's five o'clock somewhere it's here. And here it is. Uh, but no, it should be fine. We're doing 60 frames a second at 6 meg, although it is fluctuating. <laughs> Can you get it off there? There you go. Mm, of course. Put a reference size pin. Oh, um, yeah. That's a very good call, Greg. An 800? Do I have an 800? That's why they pay you the big bucks. I do have an 800. Oh, uh, yeah, let's put this in here. Throw it in the middle. There you go. So yeah, the, the thick is about the size of an 800, give or take. Oh, square them up there. There you go. Yep. Cool. Solid, solid idea there. Okay. Uh, it's low. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's so low. It shouldn't be low at all. Uh, all right. So this is the OG fat. Okay. Uh, titanium. That is not very PC. You should not. You shouldn't be talking about that. Let's you know. We'll, we'll talk to him about that later. Um, the next Wait, one is called. One? The next one is called the chunk. That I'm okay with. <laughs> <laughs> that is appropriate. Nice. Not sure why. But... Uh, all right. So this, this is, is titanium, titanium set and finish. Titanium okay. uh, spiral section. It's lighter than that. So, yeah, definitely. I just wanted to. Yeah. The writing weight on this one is 42 grams. It's 20 grams lighter than the copper. It's a little bit more than the zirconium. That's that what much. it feels like. I wanted to really, because it's definitely a little bit heavier, yeah. but it's pretty close to that first one. Yeah. Metal, metal pins, thank goodness. It's titanium. You're going to hurt my yeah. desk before you hurt that yeah. pin. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like let's this. Let's see. Had you on auto 144? Oh, that's terrible. No, that's, don't do that. Just pump it up. Uh, yeah, P-H-A-T. There you go. 
so uh, riding weight, 42 grams. It's about six inches long. Section diameter, 0.46 inches. I don't know if that is in millimeters, but I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I never actually held this one. <laughs> oh, that's nice. This is a good. Is this the same size section as that one? Uh, section point five, oh wait, four, six. This feels pretty wide, actually. Hey, girl. Uh, it's that's just one. a little bit wider than this one. That's yeah. In my hand now. Cause if that's what it feels like, cause this feels like it's the thickest section out this of them nice. as well. Oh, wait, you see the next one. Well, the chunk. For now, yeah. Actually, it's only slightly bigger. <laughs> You'll notice, but not much. You want to feel this one? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. what I figured you'd like oh. this one the best. It's that's on the verge of being a little bit too much. Hi, Katie. I think Emily. this one is good, but in terms of overall, this one for me is works the best for my hand. The low overall. one? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty is that his normal size that he had for a while? Is no, that that's the OG one. So it's the one is a little bit bigger than the slim, I think. Okay. A little bit gotcha. thicker anyway. I don't know about length. I don't have one of the originals anymore. The nib widths, like this is a broad, but I think oh. you just put different ones on there. They're just regular... Um, you have nibs, you can tell by the... Yeah, they've got extra yeah. fine through 1.1 1. 1 stubs. Yeah. So, normal Yovo stuff. Are these Esso, Enso pens? No, these are Matthew Martin. Matthew Martin. You should... Could one of the mods throw a link up? Yeah, one of the mods throw a link up to uh, Matthew Martin's page, if you wouldn't mind. You can hear it a little bit. It's not a bad sound, but it... No, it's not bad. There's a little bit of a squeak. Uh, his website is Matthew Martin Makes. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Like these. Sure, one of the mods will do that for us. There we go. All right. Um, last one. This is... It's the chonk. It is. It's actually not... It's about the same weight as the copper. I was about to say, it doesn't feel that much. Well... It's the, It's yeah. about the same weight, yeah. Uh, the picture got better. That's good. There you go. Thanks a lot. I wonder Laura. why I didn't show it. it as a link. It does on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on fine. the one it didn't. Okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, so this one is uh, the OG Chonk in titanium, and this one is flamed. I was just going to say, you can see a little bit through this. It but has something not, else going on. It's not normal. Look at that. That. Ooh. How much is this one? Because I'm sure it's worth it, but it's not going to be cheap. Uh, 4 dollars Yeah. I mean, so this up is there, but... a lot of pen. Yeah. And the flame and titanium. I mean... That's a, that pen looks huge in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> that's that is very big yeah uh, here why don't you show with your hand it would be a little bit more this might actually be a little wide for me if i'm honest bye emily thanks for stopping by let's see how it feels right with because i mean it, this is that's a the thing of having in your hand is can different you get than in this big drawer down here and get my caliper out please i'll grab it sorry right. i just saw it as soon as you were pulling yeah grabbing for it all right let's see what these are in the millimeters this Eric, is, this one might be more your more your size. This is a little over 11 and a half millimeters. My sweet spot is right about 10-ish. Okay. So this is just a little bit bigger than I usually go for, but it's not it's not crazy. We'll see how, how I like it when I start writing with it. I yeah. will tell you, this is this is a really beautiful pen, though. It is beautiful. Yeah. Like, like well, that's I good. want that finish on this pen. Well, you can't do it on zirconium, I don't think. Oh, you want that size? That size. So you yeah. want a flamed titanium yeah. slim. Correct. Fair. Matthew, get on that. We will talk to Just Matthew. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is really good. <laughs> yeah, Eric, I mean, this is away. so helpful. I think do, having the review with all these different combos and sizes will be really helpful for everyone. Yeah. Since he has, has different models now. Yeah, you can see that. Sizes. That's... There, yeah. It's, is there any other size that you uh, may compare it just with? Just the OG one. Oh, other pens? Yeah. Um, Something maybe bigger and or smaller? Here's a Pilot Custom 74. That might be better on this side. Yeah. You <laughs> like? Uh, we got uh, Progear Slim. And the color is way off on this, so this is actually a lilac color. Oh, yeah, weird. Uh, let's get a... Here, I'm going to actually show this posted. Hey, stop that. Just to see. <laughs> yeah. Here's some people write with fountain pen. Do you write upright or in an angle? Oh, at an angle. I don't ever do perpendicular. No, that'd be weird. Uh, do you write perpendicular, girl? Well, you do a lot of, like, 
dots and lines and stuff, they're very precise. So maybe. How's the weight compared to an arrow? It's going to be more more heavier than an arrow. So it's pretty close. A little bit longer than the Pro Gear Slim. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit, huh? Yeah. Well, it's got... But it's it a has little bit some, longer, but it's got more section. And it ha yeah. And a bigger so, nib. This, I think, will work for more people who say, yeah. oh, that's too small. Well, it. there is only one steel arrow, and that's the flamed one, and that's pretty mm -hmm. heavy, but I forget what it heavy. weighs. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, did you answer about what nibs those are? You mentioned it. You said they were Yovos. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see what this weighs. Uh, 50 grams for the... Hey! For the, yeah, so 50 grams for the arrow flame. So that's kind of in the middle of these, really. Mm -hmm. um, running weight 60, running weight 32, running weight 42, running weight 59. So yeah, these are... You know, kind of on both sides of the flame yeah. but the flame is heavier than you think like it's mm -hmm. it's a it's a heavy it's it's shorter heavy. and wider so it basically has the middle that's thicker and then it rounds down on the end so where the weight is is going to be different on that one than the other ones there's an arrow for you correct what do you mean Oh, because the vastly different shape that the flame is going to be over these. Yeah, probably so. Scooch. There yep. you go. Nailed it. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what, what case for that beauty? Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, probably I'm going to put them back in their tubes uh until i like ink them up and stuff like that but yeah these are really nice but for someone like eric who's gonna purchase one what pen case <laughs> um uh, i don't know um you want to grab one of those franklin christoph cases over there well which one there's lots over there. grab one of the three pen cases it's right there in that little cubby so i don't have any handy yeah there you go just make sure it fits. Look at the chunk and oh yeah, it fits perfectly. Oh, uh, it might be. It's actually a little bit long. Nope, not this one. It's too long. Not this one. Yeah, that fits perfectly. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. The P H A T is a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you could do a rickshaw. He yeah, has like a. Size. Yeah, you might be able to get. Um, like a big rickshaw sleeve. I don't think mm -hmm. I have any giant rickshaw sleeves. I don't. I only handy. have a smaller one, actually. I do have one giant one, but it's hard to get to. I don't. I wouldn't know how to tell you how to get to it exactly. Yeah. One star leather has beautiful blue leather. Yeah. One star. One oh. star makes really good stuff, that and I really it. I like that guy too. One star is a nice dude. Mm -hmm. really guy. So, yep, yep, yep. So yeah, I uh, I dig this. I think these are gonna be fun. I'm glad I get to play with him a little bit. I haven't talked to him about when he wants them back, but you want to stick those back in their socks? I need to know which one's going which. This one is the chonk. The chonk is blue. <laughs> oh, this dog, I tell you what. I know, she's got stuff to say. She really does. So yeah, this is what came in the mail this week. Uh, I'm pretty psyched about them. Regular titanium goes in. They shipped black. fast, too. Um, yeah. So they got here faster. Yeah, it was priority, so I wasn't super surprised. They got here a day earlier than they were yeah. supposed to. Is this the copper? Uh, the copper one red. is, I believe, red. Yes, look at you. And the zirconium goes in the green. There you go. She was doing some great ones in Scottish Tartan Wool. Yeah, they've got... What is that wool called? That is... Uh, uh, Harris Tweed. Harris Tweed? That sounds right. It sounds like a person's name. Shh. That's enough. They'll, they'll let us know. Yeah, Harris Tweed. Yep. How many of us are getting the spoke fountain pens next week? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see what those spoke fountain pens are going to be like. Mm -hmm. I've seen a little bit of preview stuff on um, that he's shown, but not much, actually, because his schedule has been overlapping with, yeah. um, yeah, with my schedule on Twitch. 
which is inconvenient. But uh, you know, he's had um, his PT times been yeah. pushing it, and then he's like going longer and stuff like that. And so, sounds like a lot of from Harris Tweed. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Matthew Martin makes. Check him out for some cool stuff. We have some. What do we want to talk about next? We have other things here. We have the inks we can show that we got as well. The swatches. That we got samples from people. We did that last week. Did we? Mm. Yeah, I've only oh. got one ink this week that's new, and oh. it's, uh, it's this one. Um, I got a, a bottle of the Colorverse Lucky Star, which is from... Um, uh, what is her Instagram? Fly Girl, Fly Girl Elliot, Lauren mm-hmm. Elliot. Um, she has yeah, I think this. They have their the separate. Yeah, Lucky Star is yeah. the I think the website. And maybe an Instagram page mm-hmm. for it. Actually, I, don't know. I bet there is. There are a lot of Lucky Stars on. Yeah. Uh, pen. <laughs> Lucky Star Pens. Probably this. Lackley. Lackley. Yep. Lucky Star Pens. Also at Fly Girl Elliot. Yep. yep. So Lucky Star Pens. Uh, uh, let's go here and then turn on the old Firefox right there. Um, she started, Lauren like just started up a, I don't know, stationary goods company sort of. I guess not sort of. Like that's kind of what she's doing now is doing some of those. She's also a captain for mm-hmm. Southwest Airlines. Mm-hmm. So you will see her face sometimes on big old posters at airports mm-hmm. that do Southwest. Yeah. Um, she has pens and such. She liked my idea for my original Franklin Kristoff, mm-hmm. the green and teal so much that she started uh, getting some of those style made for herself by Franklin Kristoff. Uh, there she is with a whole bunch of Lucky Star good. Like she's got like fancy branded boxes and stuff. Look at that. Uh, yeah, she had this ink made with Colorverse, and mine looks substantially darker than that. I mean, if you but, get some bright light on there. I don't know, maybe. Give me a flashlight, yeah. <laughs> now, mine's way darker than that, but I might just have more ink put down than she did. That's possible. I'm getting a lot more sheen. Um, I hadn't used a Colorverse shimmer in a while, and I kind of forget that one of my favorite shimmers is yeah. uh, Colorverse Cat. Um, but this has got some nice gold shimmer in it. It's a blue, got a little bit of red sheen, not a huge yeah. amount. Um, get into it, get into a pen, looks good and swabbing. So I got it into a pen. I put it in this pen because I really wanted to put it in a. I haven't, I didn't have any uh, platinums inked up. Well, I was like, I love the 3776. Yeah. And so I went for a broad because I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be like. Uh-huh. The Colorverse Shimmer is real fine. So there's mm-hmm. no problem there. Uh, and it flows really well. I've got uh, just, I've been, you're not going to be able to see it on there, but um, I've been using it for the last, I don't know, day or so. And, uh, and I dig it so far. I think it looks cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, just you get a lot of gold shimmer in there that I was surprised by because I kept yeah. shaking this bottle and there's still a gold shimmer at the bottom. In fact, you can see there I scraped that a little bit with my... It's probably just stuck. Then that happens with nail polish when you get certain shimmer or yeah. glitter. It sticks to the bottle, and no matter what you do to try and dislodge it, it just will stay there forever. Yeah, I scraped that a little bit with my uh, letter opener when yeah. I was doing the swatch. I was like, I want to get this glitter moving. There is mm-hmm. plenty of shimmer in there. Yeah. No problem. Uh, ink would be good in the flamey titanium pen. Yeah, it might. Mm. It might. All right, you gotta stop stepping on my keyboard and stuff here. Go over here. What? <laughs> Goose. So, yep. Uh, joke was the gentry on the joke was the gentry on a wet day smelled like it smelled a bit because <laughs> he used to use urine yeah. in the Harris tweed. That's hilarious. Um, I don't show. Uh, no, I, I talked about him on stream. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think I did. About what? Uh, about the the ink swatches. I'm certain oh. we talked about those last week. I don't know. I thought I we did. Know. Anyway, I like these little bottles. I think this is a pretty good bottle for uh, for fountain pen inks. I thought you hadn't swatched them yet. You only had like one done or a couple of them done. No, maybe not. I guess we'll see. Emily wants on camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got a big enough mouth to get mm-hmm. the get whatever pen you want in there. Yeah. It's got a pretty fun shape, which is cool. Nice bottle. Yeah. Not bad. So we're using that out. Expect a review on that eventually. Eventually. Like everything, I'll happen eventually. <laughs> I'll do it eventually. Oh, kind of pen related. 
I got some pen tips. Oh, that's right. There's nothing in this box. Uh, I did it. Cute a, little box. It is a cute box. These are from Netherlands. The Netherlands? I don't know. I say the. Yeah. It from, could be offensive to them. I don't know. Yeah. From the Netherlands. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, tough. it's super dark in there, huh? Yeah. Um, and they are pen tips for the Apple Pencil. So the Apple Pencil has this very hard tip and it tends to skate a little bit on on the glass like it's very very smooth and it's hard mm -hmm. and it makes loud tappy noises and sometimes it makes your handwriting look weird because it's very skatey mm -hmm. uh, so you just slip this on there boop and uh and it stays on pretty well i'm sure i'm gonna lose it at some point and be sad but yeah. um, this gives a little bit more resistance it gives a little cushion so it's not uh so loud mm -hmm. so silent yeah. the only problem is that it's actually quite a lot bigger <laughs> than the uh than the regular pen tip there. And so sometimes it's hard to see past it to what you're writing. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gets in the way. In the way a little bit because it's a little wider. Yeah. It's weird, but yeah, it's a little wider. Anyway, so that's, um, I did this as a kind of little group buy with some people on the Pinnatic Slack. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be any good, but if we split it up, it'll be like five bucks a piece. And that's, worth it. <laughs> that's a low barrier to entry. So. Something else you're going to talk about that the Diamond Rider's Blood. Oh, yeah, I didn't put that on my list, but because I keep forgetting some, about apparently. it. Yeah, check that out. Uh, my friend Joseph got some and uh, says it looks exactly like Tasha Eby, hmm. which is their red shrimp one. It's a little purpley, right? Um, yeah, a little purpley, a little magenta. It reminds her of sweet potato purple. Yeah, I don't have sweet potato purple, but I believe you. Hmm. Uh, that's a uh, Bunga Box one. Oh, gotcha. Hey, um, Eric, welcome. Hey, hey, how's it going, Eric? <laughs> Trying to find a duplicate of Bootlegger's Scarlet Letter and Diamond Rider's Blood is supposedly close. Bootlegger's hmm. Scarlet Letter. I don't know that one. I like Rider's hmm. Blood. It's like a well-behaved Robert. Oh, Nine Robert. Nine Robert. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to write Robert Oast or something yeah, and just yeah, stopped no. early, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Robert not well-behaved? I remember yeah, it being I okay. Know. Yeah, I don't remember it being. You used it, I think. Probably. I've used a few of the... Those heavy sheeners. Yeah. And... I didn't have a... I don't remember it being a problem. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you used that one. Or a sample today? Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it was a special Papier Plume ink. Oh, mm. that, uh, it's bootleg Bootlegger's Sacrament. Uh. I don't know. I don't know what Bootlegger's Scarlet Letter. Whoa. Robert never dries and gets on everything. It's one of those. Huh. What I use it on probably wouldn't have that issue, so that's probably why I never had that problem. Hmm. That bootlegger's got a letter. Huh. Yeah. No, I don't know that one at all. Interesting. 2018's Ink Flight. Huh. Weird. Nope, I don't know that one. You can show people if you want. Yeah, you're right. I should do that. Uh, it's this one right here. Bootlegger's yeah. Scarlet Letter. Yeah, I don't know that one. And then there's Bootlegger's Sacrament. That's the one I know about. Yeah. Which is which more is of a maroon. This more looks like of a, a red. Of a That's more purple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think EB is closer to Sacrament maybe than Scarlet Letter, but I don't know. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruth likes Robert. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's going to behave differently depending on what pen you have and how Paper the flow is. And and, the yeah. Not drawing. If you have a absorbent paper, it will probably not be as issue, or big of an issue. Yeah. I was trying to make this one smear and I couldn't make it smear, so... This is that uh, Colorverse one. Yeah. So I think that's I'm pretty okay. I'm surprised you don't know about the Scarlet Letter one. Or, you know, because generally you've either seen or purchased most of them, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my lady is a stunner. I agree. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. There's some accident in the mixing process and it went wonky. I called Papier Plume to get them to make more and they have no clue how to remake it. Oh. Oh. Huh. Huh. <laughs> that's fun. That's really weird. That's fun. Tun and Lim's Kuro is badly behaving like Charlie Sheen in a bender bad. That's pretty bad. <gasps> that's um, do I have it? Have you used any Tun and Lim's? I can't remember. Well, you have a. I have not. I think you have like a sample of something. I've got you, a sample but I haven't or two used of it. it. Yeah. Actually. And it keeps driving so you can hear with buffering. Yeah. I don't. Um, I don't know what it is. Like it says it's red now, but it's also at six thousand six megasecond, which you can is always, not terrible. Go out and come back in. Sometimes just refreshing, and yeah. that sometimes can help. Yeah, it's been rough today. I don't know why. Yeah. Don't know Sorry. why. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. It's kind of the way it goes. 
It may get better if everyone hits the like button, though. Yeah, I hear lots of likes <laughs> on a channel will... Do, uh, I, that, yeah, they'll give me priority, perhaps. <laughs> yep. And They're uh, like, look, this guy is important. We need to make sure all the frames are give for him. him. The, give him the good internet. Yep. <laughs> so, should we get a two-year search for a match? I have not liked an ink that much. You definitely haven't. I, no. There are so many inks that I, I, I would just switch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Yeah, well, I hope this uh, hope this fits the bill because I hear Rider's Blood looks cool, and if mm -hmm. it looks like Eb, it, you know, yeah, I'm into you it. You like that one? I do. Also, you just get Tasha Eb if you want to. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Low price, not as low as Diamond, Line, but pretty. Low. No, that's true. Yeah. And um, another thing of ink, you were gonna get some private reserve inks since they're back. Well, you told me not to mention that. I did not. I I revised what I said. Oh, I see. I gave more information. Yeah. Well, Kiwi can do a custom ink to match. I don't know if she does that. I don't know. Is it a woman? I don't know who did the Kiwi inks. You know, for some reason I thought it was. I thought it was a man, but that could be just, you know. <laughs> Gender stereotyping? Yes. Uh, let's see. Contact us. Is there a... No. Nope. I mean... Privacy policy? No. You know what? I have no idea why I thought... I have no idea who makes so Kiwi inks. So click on the custom one and see what it says. Where's that? Where's his custom? Oh, this. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for a, the word. Get down. Yeah, it says custom handcrafted ink. I'll start there. I mean, it depends on what kind of ink, obviously, you're trying oh. to do. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I mean, if you know, if you can get the number of what you're looking mm. for. Yeah, if you can get a good picture of it, there are like yeah. color picker websites that will tell you what mm -hmm. the... Or you just use Photoshop or something like or, tell you what the hex is. This seems silly, but honestly, if you have the ink of what you want, I wonder if you can just send a little swatch to them. Or just send them a sample. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Just to, I mean, if they're in the same country as you and you just stick it in the mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe so. And just doing a swatch, even just showing. Oh, just, not like, even send them a, just send them like a Colodex card? Card, yeah. Yeah, that'd be smart. I don't Look at Audrey here—the smart stuff. And then it's just you know how much how much is a stamp these days? I I don't honestly know. But... Corla ordered Coraline Diagipta for your Lamy Safari Savannah will clog your pen. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never tried using any of those um, uh, Giraban ones in a like a Lamy, so I don't know. Is that one of the special ones? Yeah, that... yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I haven't either, mm. but. <laughs> I would say it's a pen that is cheap enough and right now available to give it a try. But I'm like it's never it's not going to destroy your pen or anything. Like yeah. worst case, you just have to flush it out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll always be able Clog to flush it out. Clog up and you have to, like, you know. Yeah. I mean, deal with that issue. But so like with glitter inks, like it'll clog, but mm -hmm. it'll clog in the sense that it'll stop writing because it won't let the ink flow. Yeah. But if you like use the converter or blast water through there with like a snot sucker syringe thing. Like, yeah. the glitter is not going to resist that. So I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah. So if you, if you want to deal with that, if it happens, mm. then... Gadget Stuff works. says they've been using uh, the Vert Atlantide, and it flows beautif oh. beautifully. So There you go. Hmm. Yeah, they probably use the same shimmer and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a little sample of the Vert, but I haven't used it yet. Sarah gave me a sample. Oh, okay. So uh, what if you always include a Pantone color card with your photos? I mean, that'd, that'd be cool. Mm. He's having, Genie hasn't had any problems yeah, with it either. So there you go. There you go. It's yeah. good. Yep. Um, so, yep, yeah, should be good. Yeah, maybe that uh, maybe that Kiwi ink thing is the way to get a, a color like that. Or at least, yeah, definitely contact them. Yeah, yeah. Some, I can only attest to nail polish people, but mm. in the nail polish world, they don't always like to dupe another person's color. So... Sometimes oh. you'll have a mainstream brand, such as you would have the uh, J. Herbon or the Dye Mine as the custom. But they have Kiwi Inks, it's just a small maker, one person deal. And the one person deal, if the, main, if the mainstream one stops making it, then the person who does one is more apt to, you know, do that. Yeah, but if so. it's the Kiwi Inks to do Robert Oster, which is one guy... They're just not going to want to do that again because it's. One I mean, I would person. hope they would. We don't know these people. So. No, I'm just saying in the nail polish world, that's <laughs> oh, how it is. And so 
But if a mainstream isn't making anymore, or yeah. if they're not going to make something again, even with a small maker, they're like, oh, I can't yeah, do I it, you. or I don't have it, then they're even more up to do that. Mm -hmm. That's what I've gotten used to. See, I like these tricolori ones from Kiwi. Yeah. I think this is a lot like, uh, or it can be a lot like what the, um, I don't know, that's, that's, the, that's blue. You know what would be super cool? Uh, gold? Yeah, this is more like what the uh, the Kiwi Hippo one is like. It's mm -hmm. kind of like this. It's yep. not as pink, but yep. I think that's what's going on there. But those are really good. I, I like the way those turn out. We need to get those particles, hmm. but we need to have them so they are magnetic. <laughs> so that after you write something, you can magnetize it so it has like little designs. Like with the nail it. polish? That was a cool trend. I thought those were pretty neat. You get different like kinds of magnets. They do yeah. different designs and stuff. Yeah. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I wonder if the ink would stay wet long enough for the stuff to like. You have to do it real quick, like every letter or something. I don't think so, because nail polish you have to do. You do it per nail yeah. if you can, and they actually have things that make it dry slower. Yeah. So you can do it. You have more time. Yeah. I don't know. There's certainly some inks that take a while to dry. Sure. There, I mean, I've... you want to use it on like. Tomoe River or something that, you know, sits there for a little bit. Or you could just use one of those, like, noodler's inks that never dries or... Uh, just find that property. I've, and I've got a couple for... of Krishna inks that literally would not dry. Well, you don't want put, that. I had to put tape over them. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't want that. <laughs> but, you know, something like that. Why won't somebody make dark lilac? Well, I don't Ugh. know. Yeah, I mean, so there's... I think there's a... I don't know. I, I feel like making copies of other people's stuff is kind of... Like, you don't really want to do it. Like, you don't want to be the knockoff. But I think for one, like what Eric was talking about, where Papier Plume would like to make it, cannot mm -hmm. figure out what the heck that color was, and yeah. can't seem to duplicate it, maybe yeah. they wouldn't mind? I don't know. Yeah. I would, I mean, I would ask Patrick first. I'd be like, yeah. hey, do you mind if I try to get somebody else to make this thing? I don't yeah. know. I would probably do that, but... Yeah. Or to Hippo Nodio, Kiwi Inc. said they should ship in February, so maybe we'll get it in August. Uh -huh. <laughs> maybe so. Uh, Kiwi Space Kitty is awesome. Jeremy just stumbled across the channel, and they want to know what it's about. Oh, hey, uh, we talk about stationary stuff, broadly speaking. Uh, fancy pens. It's after papers. six, so pizza talk and yeah. food talk might uh, yeah, commence. Food talk happens. Uh, Space Kitty. Oh, that does look cool. It's like a... I have scraggle for all over. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, really <laughs> more than I expected. Yeah, that looks really neat, actually. Mm -hmm. I just had to get me some of that. I wonder what... You this... keep saying that every couple weeks we'll go to the site and you'll know, say, I oh, I should do that, and I you know. never do. I know, I never do. I will. Probably. Uh, let's see what you did. I promise. <laughs> Hawaii time all the time. Yeah. Uh, there have been a lot of uh, setbacks for um, for hippo stuff. So, uh, I hope everyone's having a good day. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think people are doing pretty, pretty well. Say so you're going to get the Black Cat Sailor Pen? I don't think so. Have you looked into that thing? No. Have you seen that? Maybe. Or are you going to poke me in the shoulder and say? I was going to bring us back to the where we started, which is the private reserve inks. Oh. Um. Ooh, my stomach's about to growl. If you hear it, my apologies. Yep, that was me. That was my stomach. There's no way they heard that. Huh. Must yeah, be I on don't... Instagram. I don't see it. Huh. Mm. Well, uh, the Black Cat is a black and quasi-translucent uh, Sailor Pro Gear. I think it's this, the, the regular size, full-size Pro Gear. Uh, and it has yellow eyes, or yellow ends. Here we go. Mm, yeah, I didn't see that today. Uh, display capture. There we go. That's it. It was uh, March 2nd, so it was three days ago. Oh, well, I still missed it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there's the... Is there's this a manga box? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I can't read Japanese. What? I know. It's shocking. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, I think. You have a cat on the nib, which is fun. It is. So they're only going to make 100 of them, so they're going to be fantastically expensive. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the yen here. 52,000. Mm. I don't know what any of this means, so... 48 and 50,000. Well, that, that's that... a zoom nib for it. It's more for the zoom nibs. And then oh, the other so MS is probably music. music. Yeah. 
So 40, isn't I've, it like... 40, I've looked at lots of... I mean, yeah. I don't know Japanese, but I yeah. get the gist of certain things. Wouldn't 48,000 uh, yen be like $480? Well, you'd have to do the conversion every, every day. It's literally going to be different. For so. like I don't know. Okay. I have not looked at it. I've not yeah. ordered from Japan because there's not easy shipping from Japan right now. Right. So I've just been... Right. And I've spent all of my money on pens for the year, remember? That's true. Yeah, 400, $442. I must skip that. Is that include the ink in shipping? I think well? it might actually come with ink. Okay, it looked like well. there was ink on that Well, picture. then totally worth it. Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'd rather have a I'd rather have a big old chunker of a Matthew Martin pen than that. Um, I mean, the, the black and yellow is cool. The slightly translucent barrel is kind of okay. Like, I'm not actually the biggest fan of this kind of translucency where you can see the material behind mm. it. I don't want... Eh, it, and, like, you fine. can see it up here. So you're going to be able to see the nib. So here's the... Yeah. The what do you call that? The inner cap liner. Cap, yeah. I don't, I don't love being able to see that for some reason, which is weird because I actually really like demonstrator pens, but mm -hmm. um, there are some of them that, like, like come on, just make it, just make it solid. I think our stuff yeah. died. What? Potentially. No, it's okay. Oh. You two just dropped you out of the stream to play an older one. That's really weird. Yeah, because we have twenty-two people looking. What in the world is? So I, I was what like, you... "What is? It? I don't know." People are not interested in this apparently. Like, look, you can see the dips. Yeah. Like start out kind of low, mm. dip, dip. Like I think it's just dropping people. I don't know why, because our speed is fine. I don't... Uh, it's very weird. Well. Hit the live button again. Well, I don't know. We might just have to say um, that uh, YouTube is. Uh, being kind of a jerk today and uh, sent you an inky rocks video inky rocks makes some very cool videos i really mm -hmm. like what she does mm -hmm. and her yeah, voice is very very soothing mm -hmm. yeah. i'm uh I she just like pours a bottle of ink into a fish tank and yeah. films it mm -hmm. which is it's kind of amazing yeah, yeah i'm not gonna do that because i'm just off. I'm too cheap I'm, I'm so cheap and so like never jealous of my yeah. i would never do that i just can't bring myself to <laughs> But uh, I think it's totally cool how she is. Everyone left at you got here. Yeah, you scared them off. Oh, they're like, oh, someone new? <laughs> out of here. Can't can't deal with it. Yeah. She spends a lot of ink on her. Yeah, she <laughs> does. She just spent a lot of ink on her. I don't think I should have angered the YouTube guy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that That dip. Uh, <laughs> dip Adelphia. Wow. Yeah. I think we'll uh, why pour the a bottle of ink into a fish tank. The are going to be bad on this one. It's going to be real bad. Uh, so here's why you pour a bottle of ink into a fish tank, Julie. Go Google Inky Rocks. Should uh, I go to Inky Rocks? You know, let's play, play some YouTube inside YouTube. What are they going to do? How are they going to stop me? She's going to go ahead and do a copyright strike on you for this video. Well, she can have the, uh, the ad The ad <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yep, everyone got dropped. That's really weird. I don't know why that's happening. Uh, let's see. Where's a good inky one? Jeremy, I hope you did not get GameStop. Crazy inks of 2020. Well, you did and you got rid of it immediately. 2020 has been a bit of a crazy year. True. So instead of doing a video about the top, of course it's a glass pen only. No, With she's the doing writing sample and pour some ink into something. There. So that's how she gets to that little ink as she uh, she does this. For nano size particles that somehow increase the surface kind of tension mesmerizing, of the drops. You know, like this Remember is my favorite we were watching this year. The video of the so while we're watching this, I'll announce the winner to my stationary giveaway. What else did they have in that thing? Just oh yeah, no, that was great. I love that. I, I don't know what the name of that is. I'm yeah. subbed to them, but uh, they just have a fish tank and like they put stuff. They put stuff in, in the there tank. and they just show just what's happening. Just a time lapse of this fish tank. And they they grow these, plants. They have little plants and then you can watch them take some of the plants out because it overcomes the top and then it come. You can't see. Yeah, yeah. Anything that's going that's on at the bottom. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think the wrong way to go with heroin. I don't know. Uh, looks like Prime Drunk Highlight on YouTube. Yeah, that's great. She does a really good job. I like her. I like her very much. Get down. Look at this. Your paws are wet. You've been in the water bowl, you little <gasps> jerk. We got a new cat water dish, and all the cats love it. But Kate, Emily likes to put her feet all in there and just sort of go like this and then then shake it and they get water everywhere and then she'll put her foot back in and then she'll shake it yeah and then she will just track water everywhere and yeah yeah, yeah. uh you ever drunk bought any pen gear you regret now no no i never have you bought me stuff for was i drunk no no how no, long ago no. was that no you then? were very sick and you were and it was before like 
my birthday or Christmas or something and you were sick and you were like in bed and you're like, I got just ordered Christmas stuff for you. I don't know, remember what it was. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure it's going to be cool. But yeah, you were like, you're, you <laughs> like, I don't remember yeah, that. You were sick and in bed and like, uh, yeah, just ordering stuff, but not drunk. That's <laughs> what did I get. I don't remember. It was years ago. It was fine. I think you ordered stuff from Goulet. Really? Yeah. Which is not one of our normal uh How normal long haunts. ago was this, though? It was years ago. Like, like three or four, at least. Maybe oh, more. Oh, that's it? Oh. Maybe more. I don't... It's long enough I, that I'm like, I don't know. What is time? I right? haven't been sick in such a long time. It's true. It's been such a long time. Yeah. Well, especially in the past year, of course, because I don't get near anyone. But even yeah. before then, I was not sick for a long time. And you were getting sick in the Philly show every year. I was. And then Until, I wasn't. There were like two or three years I got sick of the Philly show. The last two I didn't. But yeah, before that, for sure. Yeah. Uh, drink is bad for you. Please send me all your alcohol. I don't, yeah, I don't right. remember that. I don't remember what I bought. Come huh. here. Am I going to have to hold you so you're not the destroyer? Emily the destroyer? So. Yeah. Uh, Ka Emily. Yeah. What's up, Carol? You like Yaji Yaji something? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? She's like, oh, I would you're lucky how she got you something. Yeah, no, I, I'm not saying she shouldn't have got me something. I just think it was it was funny that she was like, I just ordered your presents and I don't remember what they were. <laughs> that was That's what I remember from that. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't think you were going to like them. No, Even sure. when I was sick and probably with NyQuil and all that. It's probably, I would, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, it wasn't anything bad. Mm, no. It was, I think I'm usually pretty good about gifts. You are super good at gifts. No, I am no, horrible I'm, at don't gifts. Don't say super good. Oh, I get so wrong. much gift anxiety, too. Like, Christmas you is do. just... You Christmas just... is a nightmare for me. Because I get so much, like, birthdays. You're lucky that I deal with most people. You only have to deal with me. And then sometimes we don't even gift each other stuff. I'm lucky I have a small family. Because if I had, like, a big family and everybody's having birthdays all the time, I would just... It would be bad times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it would be bad times. The destruction is just an elaborate scheme for a cuddle. Yeah, I think that's true. Because this cat does love some cuddles. There's she a lot loves of your beard. She likes to get in your beard. She does, yeah. See, uh, right now she's hiding the spot where I got a little bit over-enthusiastic with my uh, trimmer and shaved off. That was not beard. me. I did like the line down here, but um, I did not <laughs> do the stripe of... Have I ever thought about doing batch ink reviews like these brown inks? Um... Audrey has suggested that. The problem is that if... Like, I I don't know how to do it well. And I think that there's already somebody who does it way better than me. And that's Kelly at Mountain of Ink. Um, her, sure, but it's a different medium. That's, that's true. So, some people are blog people. They like to read and visually see pictures. Mm. They're a different subset of people who that's like true. videos. And they're not going to read a blog. So, Anna over at Well Appointed Desk also does a really good job of that. Um, I don't feel like I'm that great at it. Uh, I haven't really figured out a way to do it and make it mine. But yeah, it's something that's kind of on my on my list. I've also thought of doing like brand overviews and stuff like that mm-hmm. as a thing you've suggested. But mm-hmm. I just I haven't done. I've it yet. given lots of suggestions. And sometimes I sometimes I follow them. They get made sometimes. Mm-hmm. But you know. Usually yeah. I hear the why you're not going to. Oh, I hear a heavy woodshed pen review. I haven't done that. Um, mm-hmm. I, I haven't done that. Wait, do I have my woodshed pen? I know I had my woodshed ink. You it do have, have it around. It may have run out of ink. That's right here. <laughs> I can't even blame it on that. Does it still does it still have ink? Am I going to need to... No. Crap, it works. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. Uh, you love my ink reviews? Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. So the thing that Mike dislikes about ink reviews is that they're generally not like the biggest hot topic it's not like a new brand new thing from you know they're just random ones that you put up for the most part yeah unless somebody sends you it's not a limited edition or something then that's a different case but so not everybody is going to be like i want to watch this review right now And so it doesn't always right away get a ton of views. It's more of a thing over time. And unless you go back and look at those, you're going to see there's a lot more views on those. Mm. But in instantaneous, you're not getting that gratification of like, oh, look at all these people are looking at my stuff. Is I think is the issue. Because it's an ink and it's not a pen or something else that might be the instant draw. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit... 
It's a little tough, I guess. And they take a long time to set up and make sure you have, you know, the right property to write out yeah, all those yeah, properties yeah. and have it in different pens and all that stuff. Yeah, and find comps. It, like, yeah, ink reviews are kind of, I mean, it, it takes more time than you think. Um, but I just, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little less gratifying. Sometimes, like, like pen reviews, and this is a little bit like inside baseball, I guess, but, like, behind the scenes, pen reviews get so many more views mm -hmm. than ink reviews. Yep. I'll put up a pen review, it'll have a thousand views in a day, which is, like, low for YouTube, but kind of, like, pretty good for me. Um, but then ink reviews, yeah, they don't get the views, man. Uh, they'll get, like, mm -hmm. two or three hundred over a few days, and it's like, ugh, nobody cared about this. Why did I take three hours to make this, you know, 10 minute video that no one likes except for like, you know, a couple of people. So, and it's the same thing goes for any of your quick click sort of, Oh yeah. No, people not, hate those. Yeah. People don't hate those. Again, you have that one <laughs> review that you did at least 10 years ago or something ridiculous yeah. that pot. What, what brand was it? Like Pentel, uh, some pen brand. Oh yeah. It was one of those pilot or Pentel. I forget which one contacted you and was like yeah. we really liked this review that you did 10 years ago he has thousands of review or views on this thing it's got like seventy five thousand views or something I, if i had ads on that you could be buying a car <laughs> so i think those things are ones that over yeah. time uniball it's that's what it was to. yeah greg remembers yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. it's just one of those things that hmm. if you did that today you're not gonna get look at these people mm. in here are not gonna be like I'm gonna go look at that Uniball pen. That's yeah. great. The thing is extra get those funny about that review. That don't like pens. Are like, oh, I just got this, and is this a new thing? And it's been around forever, but they just don't know because they're not pen people. The yeah, it was the Uniball Air, is what it was. Yeah. And the funny thing about that review was, is that I was like, check out this pen. It's cr it's just trash. It's terrible. And here are the ways it's terrible. And Uniball is like, we really like this. We'd like to use this for training. And yeah. I'm like. Yeah. Okay, go nuts. I don't, that pen needs help. Like, yeah. You gotta fix it. Fix these things. <laughs> so, uh, so you, watch you know, I know there are a lot of, there are, you know, a few, there are a few hundred people that'll watch like whatever yeah. I do. And that's, yeah. and that's awesome. And I'm, look, I don't want to sound ungrateful because I uh, love it. And that's why no, I keep making it, those reviews is because I like it. It's and I know for you. And good. that's the thing you do yeah. need to continue to do what you do. Otherwise you're just going to not enjoy it. And yeah. You, yeah I gotta it doesn't do my... matter about views. You should just do it because you enjoy yeah. it. And so I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually enjoy the FC bag review you dropped. So thanks, but yeah, you're very Aww. welcome. I'm glad people like that. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Paul. Um, uh, almost bought the backpack today. Did purchase FC cases based on my review. Nice. Um, yeah, no, I uh, yeah, the little one is constantly back. Um, oh yes, she might have been fatter. I, uh, I want to do some more some more backpack reviews. The reason I started with that one as the new like I want to do more backpack reviews is mm -hmm. that I actually got to use that quite a bit before before the quarantine times. Yeah. Um, I've so gotten you have like, had it for a while. I've gotten like seven bags or something during quarantine times and I never get to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so like, it's hard to say, well, this is how I've used it. And these are, it's, you know, pluses and minuses and shortcomings and yep. where it wins. So let's not get to do it. Oh uh, yeah. YouTube, uh, ink reviews are evergreen, not hero content. That's exactly. Right. That's yeah. what it is. And, but I understand how as a content maker, you want to instantly that you yeah. want that instant gratification well, like i want people to see this but they're not seeing it it's also it's not so much that as that youtube gives priority to channels mm -hmm. that get that quick yeah uh, they do like, they... like people go and watch the thing in the first yep. few days mm -hmm. um and so if so evergreen content is great and that's i mean i like doing ink reviews because i love ink and it gives me an excuse to buy more ink mm -hmm. but also youtube doesn't like that like they don't want to yeah. promote my channel and that's why i think growth is generally slower because i don't do ads and i do content yeah. that is more like you know long tail as exactly. opposed to yep. like, quick hits yeah so that's the way it goes but mm -hmm. you know that's just behind baseball stuff and mostly i don't care yeah. i would like there to be more growth but you know I, youtube is youtube is the way it is so hey tell a friend yeah um let's see believe me it's noticeable when people start trying too hard to get views yeah it's, i don't do that mm-hmm Hold back on bag buying buying because I'd be frustrated not using it right away. I, Dude, I know. I think it will start <laughs> to get a little bit better since it's spring's coming. And so you'll be mm. able to be outside and do oh, for things and again. Yeah. yeah, be able to use them more. Yeah. Not for school stuff, but mm -hmm. if you're, you know, going to picnic. Well, or I mean, doing schools are opening stuff. back up. So, that's true. With yeah. the vaccines, that's... I uh, ever become a patron? Yeah, no, that's awesome. I, I love... My patrons oh. are super cool. It's amazing that people are willing to help out with you know, 
He's always old... so excited when a new patron. It doesn't, oh, yeah, doesn't I tell even her every matter. time. Every time he's like, I got a new patron. That's so <laughs> yeah. exciting. So, yeah, yeah he, yeah, yeah. we're both. I mean, I'm just here on Fridays, but it's always yeah. so humbling. I can't believe that people yeah, it's super cool. give any dollars yeah. just to, to watch us talk yeah. about pens and stationery. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I get it. Oh, I've been carrying bags around the neighborhood, actually. I'm sure our neighbors think yeah. I'm whack. But uh, I'll, you, I, you said whack. I did. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I'm so trying funny. To, I'm trying to bring it back. Okay. Normalize. Okay. Normalize whack. That's whack. Uh, that is yeah. <laughs> Me using whack as whack. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Self referential. I like that. Yeah. Um, so I take scraggles on a walk like pretty much every day when it's nice, and uh, <laughs> and so I'll just like load up a bag with you know, a bunch of books and my computer and stuff like that and just do a couple of miles just wearing that bag. Yeah. And uh, that gives me, I think it was, you know, like a reason to use it and gives me some insight into how that thing is going to be. Uh, any thoughts about the YouTube subscription thing? Yeah, I've considered doing it. Um, I got to run making Irish leek and potato soup, no meat Friday during Lent. Enjoy your um, week. Leek and potato okay. soup is good. That sounds good. And you don't need an excuse to make that. Mm. Um, uh, ah! I think the subscription thing is cool, but I'm also not really sure sure what uh what i would offer as like a like a thing incentive I, yeah i can do like emotes and stuff like that if i get mm -hmm. some good ideas you got good ideas for emotes let me know uh i've got like one emote on twitch i think it's mm -hmm. kind of cool it just says dope i like it uh but um yeah carol is so nice she says again i say this often however i mean it both of you and andre treasures you are both generous and kind that's super nice thanks carol that's carol, that's very touching you're so generous and kind as well especially with the compliments yes uh, so I'm just the other day because I really enjoy your content. So why wouldn't you? Because you can get it for free, Jan. That's uh, I think that's why most people don't, and I that's totally fine. And I hope people love it even without the, you know. So an ink guy, you bring up a very good point, and I I mentioned this to Mike, but that's just not his personality. Uh, he, oh, you're not enough that you can reach out to retailers and shippers and get the new shiny. Mike is not going to contact somebody about getting mm. stuff to review. It he, makes me intensely uncomfortable to contact people and be like, hey, give me a thing. I don't I don't like it. I like it. I it, it goes better at pen shows because I, I am friends with most of the people that sell mm -hmm. and like make most of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, so they'll see like, hey, you want to? Would you like to tr you know try this out for the channel or whatever? I'm like, yes, absolutely. But I also don't. You don't want to make the the first move because that's the thing is reaching out and saying, yeah, hey, this is me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I can I can review stuff for you. You know. Yeah. In some ways, I just don't have that much confidence, I guess, in myself. To do, that. I don't know. It feels like um, it feels bad to ask for free stuff or even just to borrow stuff because then it's used and it's harder for them to like sell it. Oh, I give sell it back. like the second, you know. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. We redo it to your behalf. Hey, man, that's an. I would love that. If you're like, hey, send this. You should send this to Mike at Ink Dependence. That would be amazing. And I, I want to know it. more about this. That would make yeah. me. Uh, I would. Uh, that's the. That's the best. That's the best possible system. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't want to beg for stuff. And I, also, part of it is not so much that I don't want to beg for it, is that I don't want to put my friends in a position of like where they would have to like have just, to say yes, and where they'd have to say yes or no. Like I don't want to. I feel like I'd be putting my friends in a weird position if I'm like, mm -hmm. hey, can I have so, this thing or use this thing and depreciate so its value? The thing or, that so. I can, I often do if I for nail polish again, not for yeah. pen stuff, but. Um, if I know them or if I know that, you know, they already have enough people or whatever, I offer to or see if I can get a discount for something. Mm. So I'm still paying probably what they're paying for it or to make it. And this, and then so at least they get something and they get something out of it, too. Yeah. So they're getting recouping what they got and the promotion for it as well. And you're getting yeah. the discounted thing yeah. so that's what i will i often do is say hey i'm looking to do review um do you have a discount code that i could use because i want to try it and yeah. so it's no. not as give me free stuff yeah there are some thing. places that, that'll do that sort of thing yeah yeah got a little cat cam going here uh you trust me because i don't ask for stuff i would hope that you would trust what i say even if i did ask for stuff i have asked I, for things there are some things i'm like hey i'd like to try that out like the um, the Homo sapiens like mm -hmm. new lava colors. Yeah, I was right. like, hey, can I can I try out one of those? Yeah. And they were like, yeah, absolutely, go for it, and sent me three. Yeah. Um, but you know, 
it just makes me a little uncomfortable to do it. I don't like to put people in a, maybe it's my, maybe it's my, my Southern upbringing or something, but I don't want to like put somebody in an awkward but position. But also depends healthy. on who you're contacting. If you're contacting the distributor or the, you know, for that, then they yeah. often will already have pre-inked things that they can send to people and get back. Hmm. Whereas if you're doing it for a shop where, you know, this is literally, they don't have that and this is just for them. And it, the the cost of it is on one person and not the yeah. company, the whole big brand. Mm -hmm. Then I feel like yeah, there's no, more pressure on that. And you know that person. Whereas if it's a brand, you don't mm -hmm. know a specific... Well, sometimes you do. But a specific person who goes to the show yeah. for that brand. But Yeah. Like I know the people at Sailor. I know... Yeah. Well, I used to know the pilot dude, but he's mm -hmm. somewhere else now. So. Yeah. Uh, Chicago's Mr. Nosey Motes would be cool. Be, yeah, mm -hmm. those are cool. Uh, have we watched PBS All Creatures Great and Small? I never have. I, I'm aware of the series, but I've never yeah, watched it. Yeah, and I've never heard of Stuffed on Amazon Prime, but I'd check it out. Mm, yeah, definitely. Uh, everyone, you, uh, every purchase anything, or if you heard about it from an ink guy, um, but like sort mm -hmm. of like more generally, and not like make people give me stuff. If you watch a YouTube channel or pay attention to an Instagram or something, uh, tell vendors where you heard about the thing. Like, I'm buying this because I saw it here and it looked cool. That, that is, really matters. I mean, you wouldn't think helpful. that that would matter. Or you're like, oh, I'm yeah. just one person that purchased it yeah. for whatever. But for people to directly know, oh, this is where they saw it and they bought it. Yeah. Instead, just because lots of people view things and a very small percentage will actually go out and buy something. Yeah. So if you get a couple people who say, oh, by the way, I bought this because of this, that it, that means a whole lot because, yeah, it doesn't happen that often. It doesn't always go to getting money in the end for somebody. Besides, yeah, right. if you have ads, then that's yeah. your only way of really getting anything. Especially a year anniversary of the Baltimore Pin Show. That's true. Mm -hmm. A week ago last year, Audrey was yeah. smoothing out a nib for your model at 50, 45 dollars And I remember having the... I got like the last of the Purell and I was like, look at me, this is weird, huh? <laughs> and then a couple weeks later, yeah. Yeah. Off to sleep. See you later. Uh, oh, yeah. Good night. Malaysia. Have a good weekend. Um, let's see. Isn't the pilot do the Coles of London do now? Yeah, he works at Coles mm -hmm. of London. He yeah. does um, S.T. DuPont. He's the S.T. DuPont mm -hmm. rep now. Yep. Yeah, I don't know who the new pilot people are. Yeah, I don't know. Because that happened during quarantine, so yep. I haven't met them yet. But, uh, yep. Way go. Way it goes. Well, are we going to talk about anything else? Are we done? We didn't talk about the new DuPont colors. Oh, we didn't. You can show that. You know, there were a couple of things, actually. One of the reasons I set up this this camera this way was... Let's kind of scooch everything that way, I think. Scooch. Is uh, Audrey brought home... Sushi time. Fancy. Ooh, fancy. That's my that's my legs. And my legs. Are you showing my legs? Eee. These, are my, these are my fancy joggers. My phalanges and my legs. <laughs> Dancing phalanges. Uh, so there we go. This is the the new pin world. Is this for this month? Yeah, this is for February. You I get them at work. The it's the perks. Get them perks because yep. y'all advertise. So you yep. Get <laughs> uh, talked about what kind of pizza you're getting. Uh, I think we're gonna get some Dominoes yeah, tonight. Probably fancy. usual stuff. Mike probably doesn't want to leave the house. Uh, not really. Mm. Plus, we got to use those before. There's they... that private reserve that you're talking about. Well, there's a avocado. Whole, there's a thing about it. Oh, those are the new colors for that we were talking about. Well, there's that too. All right, you flip through. Oh, those aren't the new ones. No, we hadn't said anything about that. Never at all. These, mind. That's these are last not... month. Yeah. Yep. The new ones are Pennsylvania, uh, in Florida, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the Pennsylvania one looks really cool. The Florida one, I just, I saw it. I'm like, mm. Mm. Yeah. could be okay, but that I'm not blown be... away by it. Yeah. Uh, there's that new Visconti. The new Visconti. Oh no, that's Tuscan Hills. That's been out for a while. Oh. What are they doing? I don't remember that actually. Uh, yeah, Tuscan Hills. So yeah, there's a uh, little. Yeah. Article about uh, Yaffa acquiring Private Reserve, which was the first ink that I ever got in bottles. Yep. So I have like a little special like place in my heart for Private mm -hmm. Reserve. Uh, yep. And I definitely need to get some of these. They, I think these are the ones they have out now. There will be, they say, they're going to bring back like all 30 some odd oh, really? oh, in bottles good. and carts oh, over the next like good. year or so. I wonder if they're going to have regular or just the long ones. Because I have the long ones. Uh, for Private Reserve? Uh-huh. Oh, weird. Yeah. Yeah, mostly they do little ones. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I have long ones at work. They Mandy had, gave them to me at work. They had good packaging yeah. for so this is um this is Daphne Blue. This is their their packaging for their cartridges. Ruth got to write the in my humble opinion column for that issue. Oh, oh, well, that's oh, nice. awesome. That's cool. Oh, I haven't read it over it. Yeah, I just got yeah, it. Yeah, we just got it. Like she brought it home yesterday. Yeah. I haven't really looked at it yet. 
Um, so yeah, I need to get some of these private reserves. So if you have a favorite How private reserve, are they? they're a l they're more expensive mm. now, uh, but they're 60 mil bottles for 15 bucks, hmm. which is not mm. terrible, mm. but it's not cheap. No. They used to it's be fine. like eight or 12. Like usually I think they're like 12 and you can sometimes get them for eight or something mm. like that. So 15 is not cheap, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Now where's the thing I wanted to show? There was something I was like, oh, we got to show this. And I should have put a tag on the page. That would have been a smart thing to do. This whole thing on Levenger. Ah, yeah. look at that. Have, did you see this one yet? No. This is the uh, Graf of Faber-Castell pen of the year. So you know it's going to be a, a spendy one. Yeah. But this is uh, the knighthood one. Oh, wow. This is one of the very mm. few of these pen of the years that I think is real cool. It's yeah. got a Damascus steel barrel. That's... Ugh. Look at that. You know, like the raindrop yeah, Damascus? Yeah, you can see here, but it is Damascus. Yeah, you can see a little bit on the camera there. Yeah, you can see it up here. It's yeah. got that raindrop Damascus. You have yeah. these like, little points, mm -hmm. which is neat. And uh, the cap has these wavy lines on it, like uh, mm -hmm. chain mail. Yep. And then this, uh, the grip is like leather. It's shiny. Like a, I, I couldn't see it. Oh. Yeah. And the grip is shiny like leather, like a like a sword. Leathery or sort of woodeny from over here. Let's see what they say it's made of. Yeah, congratulations, uh, Ruth. That's awesome. Uh, uh, pins brown grip zone. Min minus the leather strap of the sword's grip. It actually doesn't say what the material is. But the barrel is Damascus. So you know this thing's going to cost a mint. Somebody does need to do some pizza-themed inks. There we go. There's a big old sheet of the Damascus with the pen barrel next to it. That's like that awesome. is yep. That is super cool. I'm, uh, I'm a fan of that right So now. this has nothing to do with pens, but as sometimes we talk about my makeup, there is going to be an Elf Cosmetics... Chipotle collaboration. It doesn't have abs, Bichu. No. <laughs> the last one I think had abs. Maybe it was two years ago? Anyway, it was a pin that had like yes, abs. Yes, I remember that. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to definitely pick that up. And if you get the palette, it's only $16, you get free chips and guac from um, Chipotle too. <laughs> That's awesome. So they do, and they had a Mentos collaboration. So brands do that sort of thing. I'm going to look around a bunch of stuff. Where is the nail polish? There we go. Let's do that one. Oh, there we go. It may cause gas. I can't, I can't confirm this. It hasn't come out yet. You probably won't get salmonella from it, though. Probably. Probably <laughs> Unlike not. Unlike going to Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Don't it's got it. like... It's got the, the bins. Like, this really looks like a Chipotle setup. Yeah. Which I think is pretty So the first cool. one is lettuce... And then it's guac. Like, they have names, but unfortunately, the, it just shows the picture of yeah. what they're inspired by. Yeah. <laughs> but there's pinto beans, beans and refried <laughs> beans, or black beans. Yeah. I think these actually might be refried beans back here. If you look at this one, it's yeah. a little easier. If you look over here, there's less stuff in the way. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. But that looks, <laughs> that looks like that's fun. Yep. I like that. I don't care about Chipotle that much. Like, it's the least no. good of those, like, make your own burrito no, situations. No, I just think but... it's funny. And I think it's yeah. hilarious that they didn't... You can find inspiration in many things. Pizza? Mm -hmm. I mean, look, you can do lots of different color toppings and things. Find a picture, get your inspiration. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Remember when you got your first illustration published in World Book? That's cool. Oh. Uh, yeah, so what's the, um, uh, what's the thing she I wanted did? to smell of pizza. Oh, here it is. Right there. Yeah. This is our very own Ruth Freitag. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Very cool. That is awesome. Yeah, I haven't, I obviously haven't had a chance to read through this at all. Mm -mm. I just sort of like paged through it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, congratulations, Ruth. That's super cool. Yeah. Um, so this is the, these are the new ST DuPont Line D colors. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like they've got a, like a violet. Uh, the red was an violet older magenta -y. one. magenta Yeah, so these are the ones that I had. Uh, that I reviewed. reviewed. So the aquamarine, the blue, and the gold, which is like kind of dragony, or uh, golden red, which is golden kind of dragony. Red, yeah. I liked the blue one best, I think. Mm. Uh, but the red is super, the red super actually, dragony. Yeah. Looks good with the it gold. It looks good, yeah, yeah, with the gold. But now they have this green color, which is far more green, mm -hmm. like an emeraldy green. Yeah. And then this purple. Are there three new ones or just two? Because that's the red. I think there might only be two new colors. Firehead, complete Firehead Guilloche collection. Amber with gold. Amethyst. Oh, yeah, just two. Just the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. 
I guess it's a different. Is it a different guilloche? Yeah, it's a different guilloche pattern. Well, you can't oh, see it on it? there. It's too. Uh, it's too small. But yeah, oh, it it's is. got this like kind of X through the. Yeah, it is the a scale different. Like they have huh. on these. Neat. And I switch royal purple. Um, no, it's more like a violety purple. Like that. It's pretty good. Actually, on there you can. I thought it was a little that. more magenta or fuchsia. Oh. Is it fuchsia? Um. Yeah, fuchsia's pretty good. I think that might be the word. Yeah. Because violet's usually a little darker. Yeah, you're probably right. A little more purple. That's probably a little bit more fuchsia. Yeah. How much were they? That's my they are real expensive. They're like a grand. Um, I mean, which means like the Miserip is a grand. So you get them on the street mm -hmm. for like seven or eight hundred or something yeah. like that. But so they're so It cools you expensive. down. Cooled me down real quick too. I was like, yeah. oh no. But the one thing I can say for those is yeah, it's way out of our price range, but in the hand, and this probably goes for most Mont Blanc too. Once mm. you actually have it in your hand and use it, it it is a really nice pen. It feels yeah. nice. It said it gave you like well itchy. No, it's more me. It's yeah. you know. If you're real it, allergic to Arushi, don't yeah. touch them. <laughs> but. So, but they did feel really nice and Lux, and I mean, yeah, they felt expensive, and they are so. Hmm. If it mm -hmm. didn't feel expensive and it was, mm -hmm. I'd be obviously very disappointed. So I, you know that word that I was just telling you that I hate a whole lot, which mm -hmm. is lux. Mm -hmm. Those pins are pretty lux, right? That's why like, I used. It. I was like, I, I, I know he hates that word because we just discussed this. I hate it so this, much, but, but that, those pins are lux. They though. are lux. Yeah, they're really good. Don't forget to click the cap. Oh, the cap is oh, so good. Oh, that's true. The cap. Mm -hmm. They make yeah. the best snap caps. Mm -hmm. Just, do I have one that I can show? Of what? Um, yeah, actually. See that, like, maroon? You do it. Our seats aren't that much different now. You can do it just as well as I can. Well, they'll see I have joggers on. Well. Yeah, I only have one SD DuPont, and I've been meaning to kind of sell it because I never use it. If anyone wants to buy this, hit hit the, <laughs> email, the email over there. Well, I don't know how much I'd sell it for. Um, this is the... Uh, this is an Esti Dupont Ellipsis, which is a lower end Esti mm -hmm. Dupont. There's no Arushi on this. Yeah. Um, Scraggles. Something's going on outside. Yeah, something. It's got this really cool, like, bifurcated clip. Anyway, it's cool. But, like, the nib is gorgeous. And it's got this, like, wraparound nib that Esti Dupont does. Yeah. But, uh, it, like, it's just, it's such a, such a good cap. It's and smooth. this cap is yeah. not as good as the one on the, the Line D. The oh, Line yeah. D is it's, better, even. But, yeah. Uh, I think this is probably the most affordable SD DuPont. Like, probably it's the one of the lower end as far as SD. I mean, mm -hmm. it's still like an 18 karat gold nib or something. Is it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's 18K. Um, but still, I mean, this is in the like $200 range, I think. It's not super expensive. Already seen your joggers. <laughs> there are no yeah, secrets here. There is really not. <laughs> they, yeah. know, they know. They know. So. So, uh, yeah, no, SD DuPont makes really nice stuff. I don't know why I, I just don't... I just you don't, bought that in Raleigh, don't... right? I did. I got it at the Raleigh Pin Show, yeah. yeah. Um, but, anyway. So there's that. Uh, snap cap on Parker Sonnet. He's got it really nice, too. Yeah, Parker mm -hmm. Sonnet's have a nice snap as well. Yeah. I don't like the nib on the Sonnet as well as I like the SD mm -hmm. DuPont nib usually, but I haven't had a Sonnet in a while. Yeah. Inherited an SD DuPont for your mom, and it's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, wow. Very cool. That is nice. Uh, what's the red bag hanging on the door behind me? That's a Topo Design something. Core is what oh, it's there called. You go. The Topo Designs Core. Um, I just got that. Uh, when did we get that? A couple Last, weeks ago. Uh, a week, yeah, something two? like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty nice bag actually. Go grab it since they've already seen my joggers. Okay. <laughs> I'm all ready to eat. It's six thirty-seven. Goodness. Yep. Well, the stream has finally settled down and like well, YouTube now, is flying. Well, now that right. it's too late and everyone had dropped off. So this is the. Uh, the Topo Designs Core. I still got the tag on this. I yeah, you do. Well, where are you going to take it, remember? Right? It's got these very nice uh, big bottle pockets on the side. They're like elastic to close. So they close flat when you don't have anything in them, which is neat. There's one on each side. The inside of this bag is uh, screaming yellow. Mm -hmm. there is, their bags are not known for being subtle. Blam! Look yeah. at that. It's even brighter in person. Like it's being mellowed out by the camera, I think. Yeah. Uh, but I love that it's got a real... This is my only gripe, really, with that Franklin... Well, one of the two gripes I had about the Franklin Kristoff bag. It's got a black Dark. interior. 
But you do like that it doesn't have much branding, unlike this one, which has the... I actually, like, we want you to know, it's Topo! This was next to me, and I grabbed it, and I was like, unlike Topo, which mm -hmm. has yeah. screaming branding, yeah. but, like, the inside of every bit of it is bright yellow. So I, I dig that. Um, I got this on the their sale that they had. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, the price, I should just get one. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's got a lot in common with this Evergoods bag I like, mm -hmm. where you're, you're supposed to be able to, like, sling it down off your shoulder, like it is... And then you get into this panel, and everything on this panel is sideways, so you can easily get your stuff mm -hmm. out of it, which I think is a really cool feature. Mm -hmm. And for that price, I was like, I'll try this out. So, all right. That's there. Yep. It's like one-fifth of the bag. What is it? Oh. Uh, well, the good thing about it is that it's dark on the bottom, and the area that would touch... To, for being dirty oh. so the inside so I would it show dirt or wear the inside mm. doesn't generally get dirty I mean yeah, not too much. what you put in there but I mean you might have like a pen that comes uncapped and gets a, is a little messy but I haven't but the problem. areas that generally would touch the floor the most is mm. black which is nice yeah and it's got a it's a very nicely reinforced bottom too yeah. I've got another topo designs this way up I can't no, get we're to not it getting that one. I have to go past the light and stuff but um, yeah, they, the Topo design goes big on their brand. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a very particular thing for them. Yep. Um, but you know, Either like it or hate it. I mean. Love bags. I'm always sure the right bag with enough pockets will suddenly transform your ADHD life. It helps me. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about pockets, though. You don't want a bag with too many pockets. Mm -hmm. I have one that's got too many pockets. And I need to sell it because I just... I want... I can't find... I took it to a pin show and I was constantly losing the thing I was looking for in that bag. See, I have the exact opposite problem. I want a purse that is very much organized and has lots of pockets and things. But generally, when they say you get organization in a purse, it's not. They have like two little things inside, but it's still just the main thing. Of you just dump stuff in there and good luck finding it sort yeah. of thing. And some of the ones that do have organization look like they're an organizer with a strap on it. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it doesn't... And other ones were like $400, $500 at least for it, which I'm too cheap for that, so... Whoa. What? It's gone. They don't... Oh. It's not on their webpage anymore. Well... Backpacks. Check for laptop bags. That'd be no easier. Uh, laptop bags. Uh... Yeah, so I like I, so he said uh, you can have too many too many pockets. Yeah, you can. Huh? Wow, it doesn't exist anymore. They've well, so you is, can't that's get That's why it was on. That's sale. why it was on such a deep the sale, clearance. I guess. Yeah. Um, can you still get it elsewhere? Let's see. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's just got a blue bag in it. I, thought, oh. I look at this and I'm like, it's blue and yellow and red. I want. Um, yeah, you can find it at some places still. Oh, Moose Jaw's got it. Moose Jaw is a good place to go for some of this stuff. Yeah, they still got it. $69.99. Not bad at all. So, yeah. Anyway, check that one out. You want Greg Thomason! <gasps> again Greg. with the pizza money. Thank you so much, Greg. Let's get some W's in the chat for Greg. Here's a port. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much. It's very it cool. Is. You can't find it. Yeah, you have to find it on uh, other websites. But it's there. It's there, Bijou. They make them. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool bag. Came with a bunch of cool colors, too. Greg, um, can Scraggles have a little piece of crust when we get pizza? She's right behind you. She's lurking in the doorway. She, she's lurking in the doorway. So just so you know, you <laughs> might disappoint this little dog if you say no. She can't. Next one with W's are. W's are for win. Win. <laughs> For win. Winning. I uh, love having so many pockets, love having a place for so many things. Yes. I'll get that bag out maybe next week. It's in the closet of doom. Scraggs, you are lucky. Greg says you can have a piece of crust. Oh, that's good. Uh, it's a, uh, what is the name of that company? Um, what is, I don't for, for bags. It's not Topo. It's the other one that makes a lot of like Peak. messenger bag. No. Keep naming, keep naming companies. It's the one that Rickshaw, uh, uh, Rick from Rickshaw used to run. Tom Ben. No, 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 not Tom Ben. Um, oh, uh, uh, Tom Ben runs Tom Ben. <laughs> it's one of those. Timbuktu. Timbuktu. Yes, Timbuktu. Thank you so much. Look oof, at your brain. Oof. Oof. Yep, Timbuktu, right there. Uh, it's a Timbuktu Commander backpack, 
And it is, that thing is a desk in a bag. Oh my gosh, that one you got from Kimberly? No, no, no. That's oh. the mess. That's the large messenger. Oh my gosh. Which you that could put so two medium sized children in that bag. At least. I, I was talking to somebody that said they used to carry, uh, they'd go to like Sherwin Williams and get like three or four gallons of paint and put it in that bag and just like carry it home. Um, that is a massive thing. Um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but the commander has so many pockets and little places where things can go. Oh my gosh. Oh, tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, what? I was, <laughs> you notice when I pick I was, her up, I go like that. <laughs> we just got, we're just, look, a look at the time. Whoo. Well, uh, YouTube uh, just called and, uh, uh, they say we're done. Uh, uh so there goes the good internets. <laughs> Oh man, Katie Purry. Oh. That was that was inappropriate. <laughs> so, oh. all right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I always hold her like this. <laughs> so, uh, good thing we got Greg's money before that happened. Is all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> He's emailing to find out if he can get his money back. Dear YouTube. <laughs> Yes. You just got us demonetized. We need, we need one of those little jewels that you put on their tails oh, that no. covers. Yep. Uh, actually, uh, you were doing it. Oh, it wasn't a. It was no, a, you, didn't, you didn't miss anything. That's yeah. for sure. It's okay. You're fine. Don't worry about it, Greg. <laughs> Do um, not rewatch it for anything, please. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Very cute cat, except for that. Yeah. Katie yeah. okay, flashes. Emily. 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 <sighs> anyway. All right, folks. It is 6.45, and I need to put food in uh, Audrey. And, oh, I had a bag. I think it's security tag. Oh, no. Security alarm in every shop. And I stuff it empty off the bag. Oh, oh no. Oh, it was sewn in. Oh. Why would they do that? Nightmare. <laughs> oh. That's terrible. Emily. All right. There's nose. He's like, feed me. There he is. is. The elusive uh, nose. Yep. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, for putting up with the sh YouTube shenanigans yes. at the beginning of the stream for Finally no good reason. Finally settled out. Like, everything's fine now. It's yeah. been fine for the last half hour or whatever, but yep. I don't know, man. It's crazy. Well, I um, think everyone should have a good weekend. Yeah, I hope you'll have a good weekend. Uh, we're not going to be doing treats. We don't have any treats right now. Eat yummy stuff. We're going yeah. to. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Uh, and, uh, yeah, y'all, uh, think about what you put out in the world. Make it a better place. Get a vaccine. Get a vaccine if you can. I might be able to get a vaccine next week. I haven't well, heard exciting. anything from my school about it, which I was, uh, I'm so hoping. Yeah. Uh huh. They were supposed to say something. I haven't heard you guys. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like subscribe pizza and, uh, say goodbye, Audrey. Say goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs>